Today I'm going to show you how I make capulin jelly, choke cherry jelly. We'll need about two gallons of choke cherries rinsed and washed and into a pot with cold water to a boil for 30 minutes. This will soften the flesh then into a food meal to get the most juice from the choke cherries as possible. This here is about eight cups of liquid. Then strain through a fine strainer or cheesecloth and bring to a boil and add seven cups of sugar. If too tart, add more sugar to your likings. To this, I like to add the juice of one lemon and then you're gonna bring it to a boil. To this amount, I added four pouches of the Sure Gel Liquid Pectin. Or you can use two boxes of the powdered pectin, that works well too. At this point, you wanna bring this liquid to a rolling boil to activate the pectin, being careful not to splatter the liquid and burn yourself. After one minute, let it cool and skim off the foam on top. Meanwhile, I'm sanitizing my jars and lids to get the choke cherry canned and ready for the winter months. Funnel the liquid into the jars, leaving about an inch from the top and with a wet clean towel, wipe the tops. Place the tops and lids, just finger tighten and place them into a pot with water, adding enough water to cover the jars with at least an inch of water over the top. Leave these jars of jelly in boiling water for about 20 minutes and then take them out to cool. You know your seal is good when the tops are flat. If there's one or two that aren't flat, use those first and save the rest for the winter months. And here it is, capulin jelly, choke cherry jelly. Thank you so much for watching.